Now that you have finished the basic servicing, let's look at the two most common timers found on the residential valves. They are the model 440 clock timer and the model 460 commander, a metered demand system utilizing state-of-the-art microprocessor technology. First, let's look at the 440 clock timer. The major components of the 440 clock timer are the tripper arm timer knob with time arrow, the skipper wheel with skipper pins, and the red pointer knob. There is a six-day timer, which is used in applications where regeneration is desired every day, every two days, every three days, or every six days. You can also use a seven-day timer, which allows regeneration on an exact day of the week. The frequency of regeneration is determined by unit size, number of people in the home, or on other factors. To set a 440 timer, you pull all the skipper pins on the skipper wheel out. Rotate the skipper wheel until the day arrow points to number one, or the correct day of the week. Then, depress the skipper pins for the days you want a regeneration to occur. To set the correct time, pull the timer knob out and rotate it until the time arrow points to the actual time of day on the 24-hour dial. Release the timer knob so it engages the gears and moves back in. Make sure the gears are in and the timer is functioning properly. The unit is set for regeneration at 2.30 a.m. If you want regeneration to occur at an earlier or later time, you simply adjust the clock accordingly. For example, to regenerate two hours later at 4.30 a.m., set the clock two hours earlier than the actual current time. To initiate a manual regeneration or guest cycle, you simply depress and hold in the red pointer knob and turn the camshaft counterclockwise to start. The unit will regenerate right away and it won't affect the normal regeneration schedule. The tripper arm assembly, skipper wheel, and motor may be replaced if necessary. Consult the service manual for a parts diagram of this assembly.